Welcome, gentlemen, to Too Long Didn't Watch, a recap of The Walking Dead Episode 1. As you see on the screen, you can click any of those annotations. They will bring you to whatever episode this corresponds to. So, let's begin. The series first starts out where you're this guy, Lee, who's in jail. Or, not jail. He's in the back of a police car, speeding down the highway, talking to this police officer. You don't really know why. Apparently, there's been some sort of murder. Lee's been caught up in some shenanigans, and he's getting arrested. Actually, he's going to jail for it. But, little does the police officer know, there's a zombie in the road. And then shit hits the fan, the car tumbles down, and Lee gets knocked out for a little bit. And he wakes up, and he's like, hey, where's the officer? So he frees himself, somehow gets outside, finds the keys on the officer. Or finds the dead officer, gets the keys on him, and the officer comes alive. And he's like, oh shit. And then the, he's like, hey, back it up. You better back it up. And the officer doesn't because he's a zombie. He doesn't understand English too good. So Lee finds a shotgun, shoots him in the face, and that is where episode one ends. Episode two starts where Lee's flipping over a fence, finds this house, walks inside the house, apparently breaking and entering. Actually, it wasn't breaking. It was just entering. A little B&E. Again, not talking about bacon and eggs. Although that sounds delicious right now. So he breaks in there hits their answering machine because that's rude <laughs> finds out there's a little girl there's a little girl's house and her parents are gone out of town and doesn't look like they're coming back then he actually finds the little girl little clementine on a on a walkie talkie and then she comes down and then oh shit babysitter comes alive as a zombie gotta kick her in the face a few times clementine's like hey i got a hammer so lee takes the hammer smacks the babysitter in the head she's dead all is well and then find our find our heroes I'll call them that going outside and we see these two guys in a truck and we're like hey we'll help you we'll push the truck out of the way and leave that's where episode three starts going to Herschel's farm one of the guys go to his farm his dad's there and his dad starts interrogating you I screw up on the questions and he's like oh you're a damn dirty liar and I was like oh shit you got me so that that happens um, next day piling around at the farm trying to build a new fence but boom zombies attack so I either gotta pick save the Sean guy or save Ducky Kenny who's at the farms his son who's kinda dumb I guess so I save try to save Sean Kenny freaks out or saves Ducky and then just runs away Sean gets eaten by zombies and yeah that just that happens Herschel hates that hates everyone he's like hey get the fuck out so we do we leave and make our way to Macon, Georgia, where old Lee's from. Now we get to Macon, there's a bunch of zombies. We get rescued by people that are held up in the drugstore. But there's a guy in there, he's all like, oh, Ducky got bitten by a zombie and he wants to kill him. He's an angry old man. He likes killing children. So then I, we intervene. I accidentally side with the old man. Didn't mean to. Accidents happen. And Kenny gets pissed, but then I'm like, oh, Kenny, I'm sorry. And Kenny's like, ah, it's fine. I need allies. So then that happens. And then I try to find, or, oh, then the old man, Larry, he's like, oh, my heart hurts. He needs his nitroglycerin pills. But little does we, or little does he know, it's locked back there. Actually, he knew that. So we try to find, Lee tries to find the key, despite the fact this guy's a doucher. And goes in there, can't find the key. But, finds out on the shortwave radio that Glenn, who previously went out to find supplies, is in trouble. He's held up at a motel. So me and Carla, Carly, Carly, yeah, have to go over there and try to rescue him. We do that, shenanigans happen, find this woman who's been bitten. She's freaking out, and she's like, oh, don't, she's like, just let me be. And then we're like, no, we'll help you, and she's like, let me be. And then she takes Lee's gun, and sh or Carly's gun, I guess, at that time and shoots herself in the head, attracting zombies. So we're like, oh shit. So we come back to the drive back with Glenn, back to the drugstore, and Glenn's there, and he's like, not Glenn, we meet up with Doug, and we're like, hey, let's go outside and see what we can do. So we go outside, trying to find this key still. Notice, boom, there's a guy wearing scrubs out there, and Lee's like, oh shit, that's my brother, but he's zombified, and he's stuck under a beam. So then we try to figure out how are we going to get out there with all these zombies around. So that's when he's like, oh, I'll just try to turn the TVs on with this remote I found. 
turns the TVs on, but oh shit, can't hear them because it's a behind glass. So now I gotta reach out there for a brick, which means you gotta unlock the door. Scary stuff. Craziness. So Lee, yeah, they unlock the door, throws the brick at the TVs, breaks the glass, now the TV sound. The zombies go over there. They're all attracted to this sound. So that gives Lee the opportunity to go over there and kill his brother with an axe. That's, that's quite dangerous. Actually, he's pretty dumb about it. He kept like hacking at the neck. No, you go for the head. Okay, kill the brainstem. That's the number one rule of zombie land. So that happens. Come back, get the pills. Zombies are coming in because there's no way to lock the front door. Grab the guy with the nitroglycerin. Then, oh shit, as we're escaping, Doug gets eaten. I could have. The choice could either have been Carly or Doug. And Doug got eaten because Doug doesn't have boobies. That was that was the whole rationale there. And Carly had a gun. That's scary. Even though Doug seemed like a nice guy, it's too bad. Too bad one of them had to die. So then as we're escaping, boom, Larry comes up, punches Lee in the face, and he's like, hey, fuck you. And then Lee's sitting on the ground, and Kenny comes up, saves him, and he's like, hey, you're my buddy. We're getting out of here. So they, they get out of there. Go to this go to the motel where originally saved Glenn. They're like, let's hold up here. We've got electricity and everything's gonna be okay. Then, nope, no, not everything is going to be okay, because electricity goes out. Boom, end of episode one. Hope you enjoyed. Remember, leave a like, favorite, subscribe if you're new around here. Check out the previous episodes so you can see for yourself, and instead of a short sampling of it. Anyways, that's my time. I am out.